walk us through that outing, outing for you. You came in and, and uh, obviously pitched really well. Uh, yeah, I mean, first, I mean, what can you say about this team? I mean, just fighting and clawing, you know, giving me the opportunity to come in there and try to shut the door. Um, I mean, it was be a big spot. You know, we tried to probably want to ride Gilly there to get through that inning, but didn't, you know, try to come in, you know, just get us through that one, didn't worry about the next one. And we went up one. Then my immediate focus went, all right, we got three more to get. We got, that's a big win for us, and just got to keep building from there. You're pretty emotional after that first thing to get out of that spot. Did, was it a sense of relief for you? Because it's been kind of a kind of a trying year for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was just, I mean, the frustration had been there since the injury, you know, coming back. Uh, my arm didn't quite respond, you know, bouncing back early on as I hoped it would. And, you know, within about the last month, month and a half, we felt like I turned the corner health-wise and finally been able to prepare how I wanted to prepare for about the last, you know, two years I've been in college. I knew how I wanted to take care of my arm, and I really just couldn't do it. just didn't quite feel 100% healthy. And I, I, I just kept telling myself, you know, if the time comes, you know, I'm going to be ready this time. Um, you know, I'm going to be, you know, healthy for the first time in almost probably eight to ten months. And, you know, I feel, I feel as good as I've felt in a long time, you know, since probably the end of last year. And that was just, you know, that was just a ton of emotion, like you said. I mean, that was just huge. You know, that's something I've wanted to do for this team, you know, for a while now. And it was just, you know, awesome to finally be back and bounce back and be the guy I knew I can be. You haven't pitched in a lot of those big pressure situations, obviously, this year. How do you stay, I guess, mentally locked into that to be ready when, you, when your number's called with two on and no one out? In the oh, we, we've talked, you know, many a times, you know, practice your breathing, you know, practice, you know, this in a high stress situation. That way, you know, it becomes second nature. Mm -hmm. So I felt like, you know, us preparing that way really helped me. You know, I was taking some deep breaths there, trying to stay calm. And, you know, this summer, you know, I, I closed in Wilmington mm -hmm. and, you know, I was able to do that, you know, a handful of times. And I did it for, you know, a, 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 another game. And I was like, you know, I love this role. So it really wasn't too foreign for me. Um, I love being there. But, you know, it just worked out that I landed there today. I was able to help us win there. Thank you, Graham. Appreciate it.